All right, so let's move on to the next case, which is when you have a repeated root. So if you have a repeated root r with multiplicity k, then the solution corresponding to this root will be a linear combination of e to the rx, x times e to the rx, x squared times e to the rx, all the way till x to the k minus 1 times e to the rx. So it will be a linear combination of these functions. Right. So let's do an example. So consider the equation, the third derivative of y minus 3y double prime plus 3y prime minus y equal to 0. So the characteristic equation of this differential equation is r cubed minus 3r squared plus 3r minus 1 equal to 0. And this factors into r minus 1 cubed. So that means we have a root 1 with multiplicity 3. So the general solution of this differential equation is going to be a linear combination of e to the x and x times e to the x and x squared times e to the x. So it will be c1 times e to the x plus c2 times x times e to the x plus c3 times x squared times e to the x. Okay, so let's do an example with mixed cases. So let's consider the differential equation y the third derivative plus y double prime minus y prime minus y equal to zero. So the characteristic equation is r cubed plus r square, oops, r square minus r minus one equal to zero. This thing factors into r minus one times r plus one squared. So there are two roots. There's a root one, there's a root minus one, but the root minus one has multiplicity two. So the general solution of this differential equation is of the form y equal to e to the x times c1 plus c2 times e to the negative x plus c3 times x times e to the negative x. And suppose now we have initial conditions. Uh, it's a third order differential equation, so we need three initial conditions. So let's suppose we have initial con conditions y of 0 equal to 1, y prime of 0 equal to 0, y double prime of 0 equals to, let's say, 2. So it can be translated into a system of linear equations. So let's first find out what y prime and y double prime is. So y is c1 e to the x plus c2 e to the negative x plus c3 x times e to the negative x. So y prime is c1 times e to the x minus c2 e to the negative x plus c3 e to the negative x and then minus c3 times x times e to the negative x. And then y double prime is equal to c1 e to the x plus c2 e to the negative x minus c3 e to the negative x. And then here's another minus c3 e to the negative x plus c3 times x times e to the negative x. So here's product rule in the last term. So once we found out what y prime and y double prime is, we can plug in 0 and then turn the initial conditions into a system of linear equations. So what we get is c1 plus c2 equal to 1, 
and then C1 minus C2 plus C3 equals to zero. And then C1 plus C2 minus 2C3 equals to 2. Okay, so if we take this one and this one together, these two together tells you that 2C3 is equal to uh, negative 1, so C3 is equal to negative 1 half. And then this now to, tells you that C1 minus C2 is equal to 1 half. So C1 plus C2 is 1, C1 minus C2 is 1 half. Add them together, tells you that 2C1 is 3 half, which means C1 is 3 fourths, which tells you that C2 is 1 fourth. So the particular solution after the initial conditions is y equals to 3 fourths times e to the x plus 1 fourth times e to the negative x minus 1 half times x times e to the negative x. Right.